Hi everyone, Caleb Dick here. Today we're going to be watching 1993's Jurassic Park. Yeah. Thank you all so much for clicking on today's video and joining me today. I'm so excited for Jurassic Park and let me tell you why. Jurassic Park isn't technically horror, but the horror connection that I can make is riding the Jurassic Park water ride at Universal. That was a, I can easily say a traumatizing experience. The first time I wrote it, I was like a little child. Um, don't recommend it for a little child because then you're gonna think you're gonna get eaten by the big T-Rex animatronic at the very end. My fear with animatronics, a whole nother story, a whole nother realm that we can maybe visit later. I think this movie is gonna stress me out in a good way. I'm not really sure how the sequels go for this and how Jurassic World is, but if you are fans of it and you want me to react to those as well definitely let me know in the comments below and before we get the movie started make sure to give the little subscribe button a visit to give it some love now let's go ahead and get the party started uh-uh don't tell me we're starting with a dinosaur already <laughs> you gotta give me a little bit of time to prepare All right, it's just a crate. I will say props to everyone willingly working at a theme park that has dinosaurs in it. You guys are brave. <laughs> so, okay. They're putting the little dinosaur in its caged area. Joffrey, raise the gate. Oh wow, he's lifting up like a whole stone metal cage on his own. <laughs> well, he was. <laughs> Damn, what freaking dinosaur is this where nothing's working? It's like 10 people zapping it. No, that's so terrifying. Damn it. I was gonna say if he lived, imagine the workers comp case. Imagine the money he would make because he'd be able to sue the whole company so well. Hammond's not even here. We are facing a $20 million lawsuit by the family of that worker. And you telling me that Hammond- Oh, never mind. <laughs> that's so funny because I just mentioned, I didn't even consider that his family could also file a lawsuit. I had a promise to conduct a very thorough on-site inspection. If two experts sign off on the island, the insurance guys will back off. They want Alan Grant. Grant? Well, you'll never get him out of Montana. Why not? Because Grant's like me. He's a digger. That's a mosquito, isn't it? Why does it look so massive? Oh my god. The shape bring an immediate return. Shoot the radar into the ground and the bone bounces the image back. Oh, I see. Okay, that's cool. Mm. Some of the extras in the background are really trying hard to do some facial expressions. <laughs> and look at the half moon shaped bones on the wrist. Well, maybe dinosaurs have more in common with present day birds than they do with reptiles. And even the word yeah. raptor means bird of prey. That doesn't look very scary. That doesn't look very scary. Someone send this kid home now. You get your first look at this six foot turkey. You keep still because you think that maybe his visual acuity is based on movement like T-Rex. That's when the attack comes, not from the front, but from the side. And he slashes at you with this, here. Oh my God, he's gonna traumatize the kid. Point is, you are alive. Stop Why you. is this kid here and where are his parents? Because I bet you if the parents find out that he just told him all of this, they're going to be so pissed. Hey, Alan, if you wanted to scare the kid, you could have pulled a gun on him, you know. Pull a gun on him? Who are you guys? <laughs> Why can't he just shut off the helicopter still, though? <laughs> Who in God's name do you think you are? John Hammond. Oh, I can see that my uh, 50,000 a year has been well spent. Okay, who's the jerk? Uh, this is our <laughs> paleobotanist, Dr. Sattler. That's a jerk. A bit of a hurry. <laughs> Embarrassing. I own an island. I've leased it from the government and I've spent the last five years setting up a kind of biological preserve. And if I could just persuade you to sign off on the park, you could get back on schedule. Uh, schedule. <laughs> Schedule. <laughs> what kind of park is this? It's right up your alley. Why don't you come down, just the pair of you, for the weekend? 
Where's the plane? <laughs> that is crazy. I mean, like, imagine being in their position and you get this crazy, probably life changing offer. It would be life changing. <laughs> Okay, why is the camera panning on the bag? <laughs> Getting a little suspicious activity here. <laughs> Dodson! You shouldn't use my name. Dodson! We've got Dodson here! <laughs> See, nobody cares. <laughs> that is so annoying. 750. On delivery, 50,000 more for each viable embryo. That's 1.5 million if you get all 15 species off the island. Bottom screws open. <laughs> oh, it's cool to compartmentalize inside. You canceled it. Okay, getting real excited there. There's enough coolant inside for 36 hours. The embryos have to be back here in San Jose by then. Uh, he did not just put it on the pie. <laughs> that was a whole piece of pie. Gracias, senor. Don't get cheap on me, Dodson. Oh my god, I can't stand him already. I would have walked away. Dodson, you're too nice. So you two, um, dig up, dig up dinosaurs? <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, him. <laughs> Why did he make that noise? He's such a weirdo. Uh, Dr. Sadler, Dr. Grant, you've heard of you've heard of chaos theory? <laughs> no. Dr. Sadler, I I refuse to believe that you aren't familiar with the concept of attraction. Uh, okay. He's a little flirtatious boy. <sighs> I will say the Jurassic Park theme song is just so well known. We all know that. Like, I feel like if you have not seen the movie, but you've heard the theme song, it still like chills down your spine. It's just something about it. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> oh. oh my God. It's like, I'm sorry, but shouldn't y'all have had your seatbelts on this whole freaking time? <laughs> And we've got Grant here not knowing how to use seatbelts, apparently. You need that piece over here. And that piece, look, will have landed by the time you get it right. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna tie it on. He didn't even tie it on tight. You gotta do like an extra loop or something if you really wanna stay in. Nice. They have their own little custom Jeeps, too. I bet they're so confused, being like, what the f is a 10,000 volt fence doing here? <laughs> what is it? I always like try to envision myself in their shoes. It's like, holy sh you actually see a dinosaur, a living dinosaur in front of you. And the soundtrack just makes everything so much better. You did it. <laughs> you crazy son of a bitch, you did. This thing's got, what, a 25, 27 foot neck? A Brachiosaurus 30. 30 feet, that's so scary. The one thing I love about this movie is that um, for its time, green screen effects, they're really good. We're gonna make a fortune with this place. How fast are they? Well, we clocked the T-Rex at 32 miles an hour. T-Rex? T-Rex 32 miles per hour? Oh my god! That's so fast. <laughs> we have a T-Rex. Put, put your head between your knees. <laughs> my idea, Dr. Sattler. I... Welcome to Jurassic Park. Honestly, I wouldn't be excited about a T-Rex. I'd be f***ing myself terrified. They do move in herds. Wow, they are really keeping themselves composed and calm. I would be sobbing. <laughs> Tears of joy. Hello. <laughs> hello. Say hello. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> You're so awkward. Uh, how did I get here? Uh, well, uh, let me show you. First, I need a drop of blood. Your blood. <laughs> oh, John, that hurt. <laughs> this, is, this is nice. Oh, <laughs> Mr. DNA, where did you come from? Okay. From your blood. Oh my god, they have a whole animation! A hundred million years ago, there were mosquitoes, just oh, like today. Oh, that's what they found earlier, okay. The mosquito would land on the branch of a tree and get stuck in the sap. That's an awful way to go. <laughs> Preserving the mosquito inside. They extract the preserved blood from the mosquito and, bingo. Dino DNA. That's smart. This is awesome. They did a really good job capturing like the really engaging educational type of video that is entertaining both for adults and kids. Damn. <laughs> they 
are so high tech for this. Well, look at him. Are these characters uh, auto erotica? No, 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 no. We have no animatronics here. No. If those were animatronics, that would be even more impressive. Can we see the unfertilized eggs? Oh, chocolate, chocolate. Can't you stop these things? I'm sorry, it's a kind of a ride. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a f this joint. We gotta go. <laughs> oh, good day, sir. Oh my god. And they got little robotic machines turning the eggs for them. Perfect timing. I'd hope they've hatched before I had to go to the boats. Come on. Come on. They are seeing everything today. Oh my gosh. Very oh, good. God. Push. Come on. It's a little raptor. They imprint on the first creature they come in contact with. That's it. There's no unauthorized breeding in Jurassic Park because all the animals in Jurassic Park are female. Now how do you know they're all female? Has somebody yeah. got in the park and pull up the dinosaur skirts? Oh my god. Well, listen, if there's one thing the history of evolution has taught us, it's that life will not be contained. Life breaks free, it expands to new territories. That's what I was just thinking. Both the human race and other species have been able to evolve the way that you they have. You find that a group composed entirely of female animals will breed. You never know. I'm actually siding with him on this. Life does find a way. That is how evolution works. They could probably find a way. What species is this? It's a velociraptor. You bred raptors. See, this is how you should have acted when y'all found out that they also bred T-Rexes. <laughs> I think we should be concerned about both. Oh. Uh. I don't want to see it. I don't. Is this for the dinosaur from the, the, the beginning of the movie? Which did look like a raptor. They should all be destroyed. Ha ha ha. Robert, Robert Muldoon. Bit of an alarmist, I'm afraid, but knows more about raptors than anyone. It is a raptor. Oh my god. I've hunted most things that can hunt you, but the way these things move. A thirst for a biped? Cheetah speed? 50, 60 miles per hour if they ever got out in the open. So that's why we're taking extreme precautions. You f better. But I'm also wondering where they keep the dinosaurs like as they grow up do they keep the dinosaurs in a separate place before they put them in their own little caged off areas or do they just plop them in there once they're bred that was really sad the park will open with the basic tour you're about to take and then other rides will come online six or 12 months after that. We can charge anything we want, 2,000 a day, 10,000 a day. This park was not built to cater only for the super rich. I mean, what, we'll have a, a coupon day. Okay, on a regular day, you could pay $10,000. On a coupon day, you can pay $20 per person. <laughs> I'll tell you the problem with the scientific power that you're, that you're using here. Uh, it didn't require any discipline to attain it. Our scientists have done things which nobody's ever done before. Yeah, yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. They're not considering the fact that for so many freaking years, humans have not lived alongside dinosaurs. We have not gotten the chance to evolve in a lifestyle that includes dinosaurs. Dinosaurs uh, uh, had their shot and nature selected them yep. for extinction. Okay, he might be a dick sometimes, but he's actually really smart and reasonable. Any normal person will look at this park and be like, oh, there's everything wrong about it. There's no saying that we can actually survive against dinosaurs. We don't know how to. Well, the question is, how can you know anything about an extinct ecosystem? But these are aggressive living things that have no idea what century they're in, and they'll defend themselves violently if necessary. I'm so glad they're actually saying reasonable things things that we are all actually thinking about as viewers. 65 million years of evolution have just been suddenly thrown back into the mix together. How can we possibly have the slightest idea of what to expect? Thank you! You guys are amazing! You're meant to come down here and defend me against these characters and the only one I've got on my side is the blood-sucking lawyer. You're just mad because no one's agreeing with your idea. And I get it. But these concerns, they're concerns that need to be had. Grandpa! Kids! <laughs> oh, this man invited his grandchildren. <laughs> I read your book. Oh. I heard that there was this um, meteor um, hit the earth someplace down in Mexico and made this big crater. Listen, uh, Tim. Tim, which car were you planning on? Whichever one you are. <laughs> That's so cute. Stop the tow program. I totally forgot Samuel L. Jackson is in this. Okay. So what kind of dinosaurs are you thinking now? Oh, no. hey, look at 
<laughs> I love how the lawyer got stuck with the kids. <laughs> you will see a herd of the first dinosaurs on our tour, called Dilophosaurus. We now know Dilophosaurus is actually poisonous, spitting its venom at its prey, causing blindness and eventually paralysis. Oh my god, okay. Do you think they should have made a rule about not having the most dangerous dinosaurs around? Vehicle headlights are on and they're not responding. We have all the problems of a major theme park and a major zoo and the computers aren't even on their feet yet. <laughs> I'm totally unappreciated in my time. You know anybody who can network eight connection machines and debug two million lines of code for what I bid for this job? God, Dennis is so hateable. <laughs> They're having so many computer issues. I would not be surprised if the fences like stopped working or something. That's hilarious. They give the Rex a little tiny goat. <laughs> T-Rex doesn't want to be fat. He wants to hunt. Uh, now, now, eventually, you do plan to have dinosaurs on your on your dinosaur tour, right? <laughs> Hello? I really hate that man. <laughs> Can't hate him more than Dennis, though. That's my least favorite character right now. I How long are we going? He definitely didn't say the uh, Is there anybody else who thinks that we shouldn't be out here? I think the kids shouldn't be out here, that's for sure. <laughs> Everybody stay here. Timmy! Hey, Timmy! Oh my god, Tim. He's gonna get himself killed. Oh, wow. Okay. She's sick. Okay, that's sad. Can we make her not sick? Ew, 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 uh, don't touch it! You don't even have gloves on or anything. Necro vesicles. It's interesting. It seems to happen about every six weeks or so. Six weeks. Oh, so this isn't the first time. <laughs> Is this West Indian lilac? We know they're toxic, but the animals don't eat them. You sure? There's only one way to be positive. I'd have to see the dinosaurs dropping. I think like every other animal, they eventually will eat whatever strikes the rye and whatever strikes to be intriguing. That is one big pile of shit. <laughs> oh my god, I don't even want to know what it smells like. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, she's getting right. some on her leg. You will remember to wash your hands before you eat anything. She's gotta remember to do a whole shower routine. <laughs> you know, if it's all right, I'd like to stay with Dr. Harding and finish up with the trike. I can drop her at the visitor center before I make the boat with the others. Oof, that is a bad storm. Came out of nowhere, too. The captain said we gotta go! We gotta go! Give me the 15 minutes. No promises! So much for our first tour. Two no-shows and one sick... Triceratops. It could have been worse, John. They, they could have been present and ate all the people that came for your tour. Oh, uh, I uh, finished debugging the phones. Uh, I, you know, I was going to debug, so I did. I, for some of the minor systems, they might go on and off for a while, but it's nothing to worry about. It's just a simple thing. Okay, you're really bad at hiding what you're trying to do, buddy. Oh god, and his wallpaper on his computer. This dude is the worst. Door security systems are shutting down. Well, Nedry said a few systems would go offline, didn't he? That's like the one system you wouldn't want to go down though and be offline. That's so bad. <sighs> I'm so stressed. God, oh God. What did I just say? <laughs> Not the f fences, man. What a complete slump. The raptor fences aren't out, are they? Mm, the raptor fence, of course it's going to be. No, no, they're still on. Okay, God, thank God. Ah. Dude doesn't even know where he's going. Oh my God. What the hell? Uh -huh. You didn't say the magic word. Uh -huh. Please! Take this hacker place. <laughs> Phone edges, people. Uh -huh. That's so, so, oh my god. Phones are out too. Uh, uh, and you're telling me this freaking Dennis dude is gonna be the one who's gonna put all of them in danger? That makes me very annoyed. You feel that? Uh, I'm getting worried about Sadie. Is she got separated from the rest of the group and was with that one employee. Or maybe she's the only one who's actually safe. Oh my god, the goat is gone! <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, I was about to say now the dinosaur knows the freaking fence isn't on. Ah! <laughs> Oh my god, you idiot. He left us. Oh my god, the front door of their car is open. Oh my god. Oh my god. Boy, no, I hate being right all the time. Okay. Okay, it passed them. Of course. No! Just stop moving! Just stop moving. Oh my god, these kids. I can't. They should have never came. Oh my god! Turn it off! I'm sorry! Yeah, you better be sorry because you kept the light on this whole goddamn time! Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. This is really stressing me out. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, it's so bad. Whoa, my God, they're going to get squished. Oh, he really does like kids, doesn't he? That was really nice. <laughs> ah, there you go. Get the lawyer. Oh, it's so brutal. <laughs> Like, come on, girl. Have you not learned already from the previous experience with your damn flashlight? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, where the hell was Tim? Did he just fall all the way down there with the car? I'm really surprised that they have no staff going out there to make sure that everyone outside is okay. Take a guest jeep and bring back my grandchildren. Sure. Y'all should have done that ages ago. I can't get Jurassic Park back online without Dennis Nedry. The fact that you guys were relying on one person to know how to keep the park online. Guys, there's just so many red flags. <laughs> I loved the little uh, sound design that was behind that when he slipped. There was like a little, I don't even know how to explain it. It was like a little whistle. Not sure if it came from his clothes or if it was something they added in post. <laughs> Are those the poisonous dinosaurs? That's scary. They sound really playful. I love that. I love that for you. I'm gonna run you over when I come back down. I'm getting scared. Oh my god, it's fast. It's fast. It's fast. Oh my god, it's in the car! <laughs> oh god. Great, now he just put the whole park offline and now he's getting eaten alive. I'm gonna look after you, but I have to go help you, brother. So I want you to stay right here and wait for me. These kids are such good actors. Oh my god. Cam! God, is he even in the car? Tim. Oh. He is, thank God. Let's throw up. Oh, I flew up. Just give me a hand. This poor kid. Just give me a hand. 
<gasps> oh my god why would you do that <laughs> i mean he's probably not thinking that it's gonna do anything i probably wouldn't either he's just worried about getting the kid out it's just like coming out of a tree house did you dare to build your tree house no yeah me too oh my god i'm gonna do this i'm gonna help you with the footing oh, oh god go This movie does really good to make stress factors. <laughs> Damn, they are going down pretty fast, but I'm glad they're able to do it safely and well. We're back in the car again. <laughs> the car is your new home now. I think this was Gennaro. I think this was too. Uh... Remind me to thank John for a lovely weekend. The other car! Dr. Grant? Oh, wow, they made it down there really fast. They're not here. Oh, okay, not fast enough. They've, they're already long gone. Good sign, though, they made it out. That's such a cool shot. Oh, my God. Fairly alarmed here. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on. We gotta get out of here. Oh my god. It's okay, they only go 32 miles per hour. If you can drive a little faster, we should be fine. Oh. Shit. <laughs> Damn, how slow is this freaking Jeep, man? It's gonna do some kind of like hunting strategy. Is it gonna like appear in front of them or something? Okay, I was ready for it to like take some kind of like weird shortcut and get in front of them. Hey, this is Brontosaurus. I mean, uh, Brachiosaurus. See, if they could have just filled the park with like herbivores or something. <laughs> Monsters next are just animals. They're the nice ones. Oh, is this movie gonna make him like kids? <laughs> what was that? Oh, oh my God! Did you go up his butthole? <laughs> what are you now like, gonna do now if you don't have to pick up dinosaur bones anymore? Hopefully they still can because this park will be shut the f down. What do you call a blind dinosaur's dog? You got me. A do you think he's Rex? <laughs> He's so gonna fall in love with kids after this. Oh, okay, stop. They're making me feel bad for him. I know this man's stress eating his heart out. You know the first attraction I ever built when I came down from Scotland? The flea circus. They all move. Motorized, of course. But this place, I wanted to show them something that wasn't an illusion. It's still the flea circus. It's all an illusion. You've never had control. That's the illusion. John, they're out there where people are dying. <sighs> and you waited so long to do something about it. <laughs> Come on, girl. Come on. Aw, oh, it's like feeding giraffes. <laughs> all right. I'm not letting go. All right, well, maybe you should, because I don't think y'all should play tug of war on a tree right now. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, they could have opened up the park with her befores instead of adding in all those nasty carnivores in there. That's where it gets complicated. Come on. Up here. Ew, 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 ew. Got on her lip, too. That's disgusting. You know what this is? It's a dinosaur egg. What are they doing out here? Dinosaurs. <laughs> Uh, breeding. Okay, okay. It's confirmed. Malcolm was right in the beginning, although they evolved a little bit quicker than I thought they would. The film said they used frog DNA to fill in the gene sequence gaps. Some West African frogs have been known to spontaneously change sex from male to female in a single sex environment. All right, let's hope that um, these are nice dinosaurs. <laughs> Shutting down the entire system. You can get somebody else because I won't do it. I Shutting will not. down the system. The only way to wipe out everything that he did. But we've never shut down the entire system before. It may not come back on at all. You guys are f right now anyway, so I think you should 
take the chance. Dr. Wu inserted a gene that creates a single faulty enzyme in protein metabolism. Unless they're completely supplied with lysine by us, they slip into a coma and die. Will you please shut down the system? So scary. It's on. It worked. Okay, good. Wait a minute. What do you mean it worked? Everything's still off. Well, maybe the shutdown tripped the circuit breakers. Where are the breakers? Maintenance chair, the other end of the compound. Three minutes, I can have power back on the entire park. Oh, you're gonna make him go by himself? I don't think he's gonna return. Not by himself. Oh, hello. Yeah, what's that? I think they're running from the T Rex, maybe. Tim, can you tell me what they are? Uh, Gallimites. Are, are those uh, Metasauruses? The Metasauruses. They're flocking this way. Are they not running from something? Should we be concerned? Okay, let's hope they don't land on you. Oh, yep. See, that's, yeah, that's a little problematic. Keep low and follow me. That's all it is. All major theme parks have delays. But John, if the Pirates of the Caribbean breaks down, the pirates don't eat the tourists. I can't wait anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna go get the power back on. I'm going with you. I really don't know why you guys let him go by himself to begin with. Just for you guys to freaking go out anyway. Uh... We're being hunted. Oh, God. From the bushes straight ahead. Run. Towards the shed. Do go. Mm. Now. Okay, that was cool. Oh, it's too quiet in there. Okay. Going down. After 20 or 30 feet, you come to a T-junction. Take a left. Just never follow the main cable channel. I understand how to read a schematic. Uh, there's probably a raptor in the shed. Because why was the door open-ish? It was cracked open. It's off. Ah! <laughs> He's so messed up for that. <laughs> I mean, the kids can fit through. Oh, we're climbing it. Okay. Damn it. Dead end. Uh, yes, there should have been a right turn back there somewhere. Right. Uh, look above you. There should be a large bundle of cable and uh, pipes all heading in the same direction. Follow that. Timmy, I think that I could climb over the top and be on the other side before you could even get oh, to the top. Oh, I don't like how she's trying to restore the power and they're literally climbing. Oh, hell. I wish you could have taken her a little longer to find that. Because <laughs> now she's about to turn it all on. One, two, three. Oh my god, oh my god, you gotta climb down now, buddy. Or just jump down, Grant, you can catch him or something. Turn on the individual park systems. Switch them on. Someone's gonna get electrified today. But I have to jump. You crazy? I'm gonna jump. Change you need to. Go. Okay. I'm gonna oh count my... three. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. Mr. Hammond, I think we're back in business. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Arnold. Oh my god! No! Oh, she used to get that light off of her. Oh no, I can't believe she's the one who has to deal with the raptors. That's so awful. It can't be that easy. They know already. There's probably like, he's surrounded. Ah! <laughs> oh, he went straight for his face. <laughs> no, Tim. <coughs> Thank God he is CPR certified. You have to find the hours. Get you to a doctor. I was about to say, at least find some food. Run. Oh, wait, I forgot she has raptors after her. <laughs> oh, okay, we're fine. She said run. I thought I thought we were just going at it again. <laughs> yep. Oh my 
my god. I had a feeling something was gonna happen when those kids were left alone. Just the two raptors, right? with the kids you sure the third one's contained yes unless they figure out how to open doors um it can <laughs> great oh oh these damn dinosaurs <laughs> is it calling the other ones oh damn it god damn it up on the freaking counters now. <laughs> Girl, you messed up. Oh my god, she's a good sister for that. Oh my god, oh my god. Now where's the other one? You're telling me the other one did not know that happened this whole time? With all the screaming and the scrambling? <laughs> Ellie, boot off the tall ups. Oh my god. Oh yeah, she she's a little computer hacker. I know this. It's all the files of the whole park. She can do it. Oh sh! The claws were like right on his hand. Yes. Oh my gosh, she's so smart. She really saved the day. Mr. Hammond, the phones are working. Call the mainland. Tell them to send the damn helicopters. It's gonna come through the glass. Do you just call the goddamn helicopters? I can hear them in the vents though. Oh, sh all right. Oh god. Oh god. That's oh. Oh sh Oh my god! Please, please, please! <laughs> I can't. I can't with this movie anymore. <laughs> ah! Damn. Oh sh <laughs> These raptors just do not give up. Ooh, that. <laughs> Would you look at that? The T Rex actually ends up saving the day. Thank you, T Rex. After careful consideration, I've decided not to endorse your park. So have I. <laughs> Okay, that's a cool shot. That's a cool shot. But all the trouble they're gonna have to go through just to freaking contain all of these dinosaurs again. Can't just leave them there right now. Well, you could actually. They explained that if they uh if they leave the area, they kind of go into like a coma sleep and die or something like that. So I guess it doesn't matter. Forgot about that part. But the poor other dinosaurs, the good dinosaurs. What about them? <laughs> So really, the only person who died who came with this group was the lawyer. That's the good news. More people are not dead. Uh, are we gonna end the movie on different shots of birds? <laughs> oh my god, guys! This movie is so good. There's just so much that I love about this movie. The big thing for me is the soundtrack. I really, really love cinematic soundtracks, especially this one. It's like that type of soundtrack where when I hear it, it, it honestly makes me a little teary-eyed, especially towards the end of this movie here. Uh, the, the reoccurring theme came up again. They're flying away in this helicopter. They're looking at the birds. And I don't know, like, it's just, this soundtrack is very touching. I noticed, like, there were, like, a lot of great musical parts when we were kind of following Dennis around as he's trying to steal the embryos, which was 
awful those parts where it's like you know they got a little like villainous theme going on very rhythmic very tense it was so awesome and it's like everything incorporated into it still kind of had some way or another the main jurassic park theme into the different versions of the songs that they had it was all surrounding the jurassic park theme which i thought was really really cool the acting in this is phenomenal i cannot get over those kids in this movie they did a really good job really capturing the tense emotions and like, like seeing them on the screen is making me feel their emotions and i feel like that's very rare i have not watched a movie in a very long time where i literally was like on the edge of my seat panicking pretty much almost all of the movie like that was that was freaking wild and it's just like the whole idea of a theme park with dinosaurs as the attraction it's just that's like that whole storyline itself is just enough to get you going. With that being said, I really, really appreciated a lot of the scripting. In the beginning of the movie, they, they get to the park, they're eating dinner, and the paleontologists, you know, like, they were like, hey, let's talk about evolution real quick, <laughs> because this is not gonna work. As much of a dick as Malcolm was, like, 70% of the movie, he knew what was gonna happen, he was right. He had very reasonable things, very reasonable concerns that ended up being true and that ended up happening. I don't know. It was just so refreshing to watch a movie where not everyone is just stupid. <laughs> People are actually using their brains. I loved it. Like, I, I, I find it so satisfying watching movies where you're thinking one thing and it's like, hold on, this, this is this problem. I have so many questions. And then they end up being addressed and answered in the movie. It's so satisfying. Everything about this movie, the way it was directed, written, filmed, the fear factor is there. They did a phenomenal job with that. It was there all the way through. They never lost me. I appreciate this movie. It, I'm, it's gonna hold a very special place in my heart. With that being said, thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed my reaction to Jurassic Park. If you would like me to react to the rest of the franchise and even possibly start a reaction on Jurassic World, definitely let me know in the comments below. I would I would be open to doing so. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and push that post notification bell to see more uploads just like this one. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video.